It's dancing Friday. <laughs> Come and dance a jig with me. <laughs> Laura's got some good music on today, so it makes me want to dance. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Oh, wow. Facebook has changed. Look, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> Facebook has changed this again. It says I can bring people on camera now. Well, I kind of want to try this. Um, Erica, do you want to be my guinea pig? <laughs> I'm clicking this, Erica. I, well, actually, I can't do that. I gotta wait and see if you wanna be on it yet. Um, hi, 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 I'm watching all the highs come in. Welcome to our Friday lunch chat. Uh, we made it through another week, y'all. <laughs> Julia, do you wanna be a guinea pig? Come on my video. I, I wanna test out this new option Facebook is saying, bring them on camera. That could be kinda cool. Okay, Erica, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna hit you. Um, Bring them on camera. Tap. Bring Erica on camera? Sure. You guys know Erica, right? Ink bags, beautiful ink bags. It says she's at, it says it's flashing. It says she, that she's being added. We'll see what happens. If this works, this could be a great new way to um, host people on these videos. This is so intriguing. So Facebook used to be, um, used to allow you to have two people split screen on a video. Then they took it away for a long time. Oh, it says the connection failed. We'll try this again though. I'm very intrigued because, um, they took this ability away for a long time. And so then, um, you had to use like a third party service if you wanted to host a video, a live video with multiple people. But the ability maybe to do this opens up all kinds of ideas. So, um, Erica, thank you for trying. We'll try it again. Um, we'll test it out and then maybe we can actually, um, we can actually make it happen. I'll read more about it. <laughs> Nothing like winging it right in the moment, right? <laughs> Sorry, you guys, but happy Friday. Um, so in the shop, I'm today not in my office in the dark hole, uh, cause I wanted to show you guys at some point during the video, um, our sales stuff. So give you a quick little video tour. So, um, uh, and I have some other, I have some Kara bags I'm gonna show you. And Laura's putting away a beautiful new yarn that we can probably go and take a look at. Um, oh, and then I was gonna talk to you about this oldie but goodie. So uh, this is the Unicorn Parallelogram. Um, and it came out, oh, years ago, 10 years ago. Um, and it uses one each of 20 different colors of unicorn tails. And it is so fun. It's such a beautiful scarf to wear, really cozy. I only have it wrapped once, but I could have wrapped it again. Um, let me let me hold it up so you can kind of get a, an idea. And at the time that this came out, it's designed by Stephen West. Um, they just had 20 colors of unicorn tails. This is Madeline Tosh's unicorn tails. And so it was easy. You just grabbed one of each and then you'd put them in the order you wanted to have them in and voila. Now there's of course a lot more than 20 colors. Um, so there'd be a little bit harder decisions to choose from. Um, and they're all so beautiful colors. And so, but this would also work really great with some leftovers. We all have fingering leftovers, right? Um, so you could always supplement. So take a bunch of those leftovers you want to use, grab a couple of unicorn tails, and then, um, then you've got a really beautiful unicorn parallelogram. There's something very compulsive about making this. It's like potato chip knitting. You know what potato chip knitting is? <laughs> it's like when you can't uh, make just one, only in this sense, it's these little uh, parallelogram strips. They just, they're so doable. And then you're like, oh look, I'm done with one. Let's do the next one. And then you're like, well, I'm just gonna do one more. But then you wanna, I'm just gonna do the next one because I wanna see how that color looks. And then before you know it, 20 of them are done and you've got your beautiful unicorn parallelogram scarf. So um, just a little something to tease you with and um, maybe wet your whistle for using up those leftovers or adding a couple of unicorn tails. They're over my shoulder, right? there in that basket. <laughs> you can see me really concentrating to do that right there. Um, so anyway, it's really, really fun. So let's take a look at the, uh, oh, first, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, we sold out. 
The Good Vibes Yarn Tour sold out three days before our cutoff date. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. Like, we could not believe it. This just like it, it exceeded our, our wildest expectations. Not just our expectations, but our wildest expectations. We had, we had no, no idea. <laughs> so uh, hats off to all of you that jumped on board the tour. And if you didn't make it on this year, have no fear. We are already planning the 2021 tour. We have already started. So, um, so there will be a chance to get on the bus again in 2021. So, um, but otherwise, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you signed up, you'll be getting a welcome email very shortly and uh, we'll see you all soon on the bus. So, okay, so now we're gonna take a quick tour of the sale area and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys some of Kara's latest bags. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Here we go. Hopefully I don't make y'all sick. We've got one last Magic 3 yarn scarf kit right there in the color we made the sample in. So um, that's that lovely church mouse pattern, Magic 3 yarn um, shawl. So that's at 25% off. All of these things I'm going to show you over here are 25% off. We've got some modern knitting field guides, 25% off. A couple of notepads there. Great sock yarn. We've got Barocco Comfort Sock. We've got the Cotton Cocktail Sock that I showed you guys on Tuesday's video, my little sample sock. Lots of good colors left in that one, 25% off. Hello, Miss D. I see you. Uh, Silk Garden. Uh, concentric cotton. You guys, this one is beautiful. If you want to look for a good project, oh, look, at, it's a heart. It loves us. It loves us, everybody. Um, go to Ingrid's Ravelry. She's Saturday Shop Girl. She's got a t-shirt she made out of this, the EDT, E-D-I-E-T, and she used one ball, one ball, and because it's got, nope, nope, keep turning, keep turning, Look, 929 yards, sport weight cotton in a lovely, lovely, lovely gradient. So we've got some great colors of that, 25% off. We have a little bit of um, Knitted Wit Pixie Plied and some Spell Shawl kits. Here's the Spell Shawl. Remember I started that one um, in the middle of the shutdown in the yellow colors. I'm still working on it. Um, and some Knitted Wit Smarties right here, 25% off. And then we've got Yu Yu. You so sporty. So if there's any knit campers out there, the original knit camp cardigan was made in the UU. So if you're um, needing to cast that on, that's a good deal, 25% off. There's overflow, there's the UU overflow. A Little bit of bamboo pop left. That's a great DK summer yarn, bamboo and cotton. And then of course, Meadow with that gorgeous Wea sweater by Libby Johnson, Truly Myrtle. So that just takes two skeins of Meadow um, three, two to three, I believe. So three, if you're getting in the, um, larger sizes two, uh, like, I think it might be split down the middle, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Last time on Tuesday, I couldn't remember the fiber content entirely. So let's take a peek. Um, here we go. 40% wool, 25% llama, 20% silk, 15% linen. Oh, this colorway behind me, I don't know if it's coming through to you guys, but it's almost iridescent. This color is so beautiful. I, th I believe this color is hydrangea, yeah. So Meadow is a great deal there at 25% off. And then we've got some Bio Shetland left in beautiful colors. Um, I know that Kim did her boat camp with Bio Shetland held double. And then we've got Brown Sheep, Nature Spun Worsted, one of the classic workhorse yarns. 25% um, off, a little bit of Barocco Arrow, and yeah, so that, oh, oh, I almost missed right in the middle. We've got some Acadia. So there's my, um, there is my Chelan hat, and get that out of the way, and there we have some, a um, little bit of Acadia left, 25% off. So, hi, Beverly. So coming over here, we have the 50% off area. This colorway of the concentric in the regular concentric, which is the worsted weight alpaca, uh, that's 25 or 50% off for this colorway. We've got some carbons DPNs, 50% off. We have a gorgeous, um, let me pull these out really quick, yarn bowl by Lenny Mudd that's Mary Tyler Moore. Do you see how she's tossing her hat? You're going to make it after all. 
Boy, isn't that the motto we all need right now. Um, so that's half off. We don't have that listed on the website just because it's heavy, but we would be happy to send that to you. So if you're interested in that, just give us a call. Uh, we have here some Universal Yarns, the Self-Striping Classic Shades Frenzy. That's half off. And Rub-A-Dub. There's my bath mat. Takes one and a half skeins. So if you're interested in making a little bath mat, we've got two left of both the blue and the brown. But otherwise, there's a pattern on Rub-A-Dub for a bath mat uh, mitt and a washcloth. Here they are. Here's the washcloth. There's the bath mitt. And this really is absorbent. It's a microfiber yarn that actually absorbs. And a little bit of Barocco plush. That's half off. So uh, that concludes the 50% off. And then we've got the 75% off. We got fluffy stuff, 75% off. And so we've got some um, Filati Park, Filati Over, and Moira Multi, which I really, really love. Um, this is soft, you guys. It doesn't feel scratchy or weird. It's really lovely, bright colors. It's now 75% off. So let me flip her around here and bring us back. That was a tour of the sale stuff. Um, probably run for another week or so. Uh, and hopefully, maybe it'll just be gone. <laughs> so we, I know, the Moira Multi makes me laugh every time, Julia, because it makes me think of Schitt's Creek. Moira! All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the new bags Kara brought in. Um, the really cool ones, unfortunately, sold so fast that I couldn't even um, get them. They're, none of them are in the system yet. It's just gone too fast, but we have one left. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll put it in the system later today. You'll have to just look for it on the website, but it's a project bag, a simple little project bag, but there's nothing simple about it because look at this. She took a coloring book and cut out little scraps of fabric for the little, all the little pieces. And then I'm gonna see how close I can get that it'll still focus. Applicate them all on. This is actual little yarn that she's knitting and her yarn ball is like a balloon. How beautiful is this? So these are 30, this is 35. And I'm, I'm not sure if she's making more or not. She brought in a few and they got snatched right up off of the counter as she brought them in. So it's a very simple little uh, drawstring project bag made out of um, what basically feels like muslin, like a heavy muslin. Um, so she is so creative, so creative. I just love it. Some of them had sheep, some of them had kitties, um, a wiener dog. And then she brought in some of the knit about bags. And I know some of you were looking for these. So these are the great bags that you can just put over your wrist and then you can walk and you can knit. <laughs> I just did a little mime action down the stairs, Laura. <laughs> Such a dark. So, <laughs> so these are, uh, this is a faux button. It's got a, actually a Velcro. And so if you can see the inside fabric on these walkabouts, oh look at, there's a peekaboo kitty underneath. Oh, this is so cute. Walkabouts, knitabouts, they're called knitabouts. Um, this inside fabric is all cats up to all kinds of shenanigans, which is so, so fun. So it's very like subdued on the outside, right? And then you get it and you're like, oh look, peekaboo. So these, um, the knit abouts have the wide wrist strap and then they have this little flap here for storing extra doodads, etc. cetera. Um, good size inside, like a lot of good room. So there's gonna be the kitty one. These aren't on the site right now. I'll be getting them put up later today. This one, I love this fabric. I think Patty grabbed this fabric last time in the boxies. Um, but th what this says right here is, I knit, therefore I swear. <laughs> cracks me up. This is totally me right here. And then you've got a, um, a gray inside. So there's that one. And then the last one that she brought in is the sweater fabric, which has got all of the little yoked sweaters. It's so cool. There are little yokes here. And it's got like a blue gray inside flap. So we'll have three knit abouts and the really cool, cute little project bag um, going up on the website later this afternoon. What else was I going to tell you guys? I don't remember. Maybe it'll come back to me. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my Tangerine LaCroix. You would think I got paid to drink that. I don't. Um, 
Oh, I was gonna show you the, oh, Laura's almost done. I mean, I'm just gonna blather on for a few minutes so she can finish putting it away and we can go look at the new yarn. Uh, oh, I know something else I was gonna tell you. Have you guys seen the um, new Casa Pinka mystery knit along that's about to start August 7th? It's called The Sharon Show and then, God, I'd love, she is so funny, uh, Casa Pinka, so, so funny. So Sharon is the cat, Sharon from Security. Sharon designed, designed the shawl. So it's a mystery knit along with a rectangular shawl, it takes four skeins of fingering yarn, and we have Dream and Color kits for this. They are made in the smooshy cashmere. So that's a merino cashmere blend. I just got them up on the website, four different colorways. So your kit will have all four yarns that you need for this shawl. And there, she set, uh, Veronica at Dream and Color set these up specifically so that they work with kind of the parameters that, um, that Casa Pinka put out there for kind of um, things to, con how she thinks things should contrast, etc. She recommended tonals that contrast, etc. cetera. So, um, so take a look at our website. If you wanna do the um, Sharon Show, which is the name of the, sh the pattern, you can buy the pre-clue right now and then it will start August 7th and it's gonna be a six week mystery knit along. I love her summer mystery knit alongs. I did last, no, I, two years ago I did the Crown Wools because it was right when I was moving and it took um, like 12 colors of minis or something like that. And so it was just so doable to do a little chunk at a time because we were just so consumed with the move and everything. And um, I don't know, something really appeals to me about these kinds of mystery knit alongs. And so I for sure will be doing this. <laughs> I'll see what color ways you guys leave me after you buy them all. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked mine first, but you guys pick yours first. I'll take whatever's left over. But um, I will for sure be doing it and talking about it. So go check our website out with the four colorways that Dream and Color made. And if, who doesn't want cashmere yarn? I mean, hello. <laughs> um, oh, I think she's almost done. Oh, Laura, it looks so good. Okay, should we go take a look? Um, as we walk over there, I'm going to take a quick little side trip because I did actually swatch this yarn already because Beverly, if you're still on there, where'd my swatch go? Oh, shoot. Um, Beverly is my rep for Barocco and she was kind enough to give me a little ball to work with and I knitted up my little ball and I loved it. Let's see if I put it in my office. Here it is. Um, I loved it so much that I was like, yep, we have to have this yarn. So this is why we are closing out the Barocco, I mean the Brown Sheep Nature Spun, um, just because we've had it for quite a long time as a workhorse and we love it, but it's good to mix up the workhorses periodically. So here's my swatch of the Barocco Lanas. So this is 100% non-super wash wool. It's worsted weight. And my swatch, I got like a good variety of, um, gauge range out of this. So I've got everything from five and a quarter stitches to the inch on a six, all the way up to four stitches to the inch on a 10. And it's beautiful at four stitches to the inch. Yeah. It doesn't look holy or anything. It would be absolutely lovely. So I'm gonna flip the camera around cause I'm right here now. Hopefully the light's not too bright outside of it. It's a little bit, if I go this way. Here we are. We just got it hot out of the box, Laura. You would put, you did that so fast. <laughs> it just, it was on the doorstep this morning and she got it all put away. So we got, we got a bag of every single color. There's 48 colors. And I'll see if I can go a little bit closer here. So we have a good range of solids and heathers. Beautiful. Oh gosh, this burnt orange. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Get over here to the teals and the blues and the greens. Oh, this gold. There's all our neutrals. Oh, and the Beverly says the white will felt. That's sometimes a concern, you guys, you know, with like certain other brands of non-super wash yarn is that they bleach the white to achieve that color and then it won't felt. But Beverly says that is not the case here. So here we are. Isn't that gorgeous? I am for sure making a sweater out of this ASAP. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is um, $11, I believe, and 220 yards a ball, 200 and something yards a ball. Let's look, shall we? I think this is the color of my swatch, actually, right here. Lanas. Um, made in Peru also, you guys. It's not made anywhere weird. Made in Peru. Uh, oh, there we are. 219 yards, 100 grams. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
All right, I'm gonna flip her around again. Uh, Christy, it's worsted weight. So, all righty. Um, Beverly, you wanna knit along with me? Aw, what should we make? Let's, let's scheme on that, pick something out. That'll be great. Um, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I plan on working diligently away on my secret project and among all the other millions of things I need to finish. So many, just not enough hours. Um, but I will see you guys here again next Tuesday for our, um, our next lunch chat. Yes, Patty, it's on the website. It's ready to go. So, all right. Adios. Ciao.